Hey, Joy Blue here, and today I want to talk to you about how to test SQL Server functions. So many times you are, you're going to end up working with functions like convert or substring or, or char index or stuff like that, and you'll want to test it before you actually put it into a SQL query. Um, the other day I was working on a, a, a query where I need to extract some uh, email addresses. And well, here, let me just show it to you real quick. Um, I've got it over here. Let me just paste it in. And I'll zoom out a little bit so you can see it all. And it just had a bunch of joins. And let me run it so you can see what happens here. It gave me back a result set from those joins and it gave me some email addresses. And what I want to do is I, I wanted to extract a portion of that email address. Well, working inside of the SQL query can be cumbersome sometimes and make it a little more difficult. So I've got this trick here I want to show you. And I'll just grab one of these email addresses and I will come up here. Um, let's go ahead and actually get rid of the rest of this so it's not in our way. And let me zoom back out. And so what I want to do is show you this trick. Inside of SQL Server, what you can do is you can actually select without a from clause. And so you can just say select um, hello like that with the string and it'll return that to you. Well, you can use this little trick to test all your functions. And that's what we're going to do right now. So I'm going to grab that email address, put it in here. You can see I'm working inside the VentureWorks database right now, so um, you can run this test if you want it to also. And so here, I've just returned the email address. Well, I was tasked with trying to get the first part of the email address before the at sign. So the first thing we need to do is we need to figure out how to get that at sign, which I can use the char index function. And the first piece of the char index is the at sign or whatever character you're looking for I should say in this case we're looking for the at sign and then you put in the string you're searching and if I just run that you can see it returns it back to me it says that it's in uh, spot 9 if we check that we can just count it out 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so it's the ninth character now if I want to strip off the front of it I can go further and I can even put a, a comment here and, and do a second thing a second function like substring. Now substring, I first need to put in what I'm certain. And then I need to put in what character I'm going to start with. I'm going to start with the first character. And then the number of characters I want to get. And the char index returned 9, so let's just put 9 in there and see what we get. And now I'll go ahead and run this, and it'll run both of those functions as, as tests for us. And remember, we're not even going after any table at this point we're just running the functions just to see what will come out and you can see we actually grabbed a little too much of that string we need 9 uh, minus 1 which would actually be 8 but I'll just put it as 9 minus 1 and that trims off exactly what we want so now I just need to put this all together and so I'll grab this chart index and I'll put it in place of the 9 and now let's run that and so that works Let's remove this first column here. So remember, we're just testing everything here. We haven't even put it into our SQL query yet. And there we go. So um, we've got it trimming exactly what we want. Now let's just take it one step further. I want to go ahead and show you how to put it back into your query now that you've done your testing. So let me grab that. And I'll paste it in here. I'm going to have to zoom out a little bit. So you might have to uh, actually zoom in on your your screen to see all this. So this is our query and here's the function that we tested that will trim off the first part of the email. What we have to do is grab that big function that we put together, copy it, I'm just going to paste it right after my email address here and let's run it. We're missing a step but let's, let's, let's run it. I'm going to comment that out and just run this query and see what we get. Well notice how we just trimmed off the front of that one string. Well we haven't put the column in there yet so like here we should have Donald zero and we have Gustavo zero. So what I want to do is finish this up by replacing this string with the actual email address. So I paste it in there. We have one more spot right here to put it in. And now let's run this. And there you have it. We trimmed off the front part of that email address. And it all looks good to me. 
So as always, if you find this helpful, uh, please leave a comment below or click the like button or subscribe to my channel. And you can also visit me at sequeltrainingonline.com and I hope you enjoyed this free video.